Okay, so uh, let's start today with this um, uh, mechanism of the chlorination of methane. Um, so you can see here, we've got this thing, this molecule here, methane, everybody knows. We're going to react it with chlorine, and the chlorine's going to react with white first. And then you're going to make methyl chloride and HCl. Okay, so um, let's go over this mechanism. So the first step, remember, in all, this is a radical reaction, of course. You, hopefully you guys can see that and tell it's a radical reaction. Um, all radical reactions start with an initiation step, okay? So, start there. So we've got the initiation. What happens is, like we said before, light shines down, hits this bond, and this bond homolyzes, right? That's your initiation step. So when we do that, we get the two chlorine radicals, or chlorine atoms, whichever way you want to think about them. Chlorine atoms are radicals. Okay, so now that we've got these radicals, then we're going to have the propagation step. We're going to take a radical and make a radical. Okay. So, how do we do that? So, we got methane here with its C8 bond. And remember, this is the reactive species. So, this is going to do the reactivity. Um, got one of them there. It sees one of these CH bonds. And they react like that. Remember your fish hook arrow is showing the motion of one electron. So when we do that, that's where we make our HCl. Okay, can you guys see that? We're also making the methyl radical. going to have another propagation step. Okay? And in fact, it's just going to keep propagating. This is like one of those reactions that we talked about the other day, um, where a lot of organic reactions are this way, where you can use the same thing over and over and over because it's being produced in the reaction previous and it's going to be reacting in the next reaction. Right? So you don't just have, in other words, you don't just have one of these and one of these. You have billions of them. You know? So anyways, you've got this guy. And remember, this initiation step, when we put light, this only breaks up a tiny, tiny portion of the chlorine molecules that are in there. Okay, It doesn't break up very many. But you only need the one radical to start the reaction. Remember, all radical reactions are these chain reactions. Okay? So um, we're going to propagate again. So what did we make? We made the methyl radical. And we've got another Cl2 molecule.
So you propagate this radical here, and that goes on and does this reaction to another one. Okay? So you don't need, well, you don't want to think about these reactions as I have to do, I have to use everything in the one reaction. Okay? So uh, it doesn't always balance out. In fact, you can see here how you balance the net reaction, right? So we've got CH4 plus the chlorine radical goes to the methyl radical plus HCl. And then the hydrogen abstraction occurs. So what do we got? The CH3, the methyl radical, plus Cl2. So this is going to react together. Yeah, so this is the same thing we're doing over here. Right? Um, when we do that, we make methyl chloride plus the chlorine radical again. So remember, a reaction equation is just like an algebraic equation, right? So and if something is on one side and on the other, so we're going to combine these two reactions into the formal overall reaction, right? So in other words, Let's just combine them all, okay, first. So CH4 plus um, Cl dot plus CH3 dot plus Cl2 goes to CH3 dot plus HCl plus CH3 Cl plus Cl dot. Like that? Okay. And then we just see what's on this side, what's on this side, and cancel them out. Okay, so they're the same. So Cl dot is the same, right? We've got the methyl radical. Like that. And is there anything else? That's all I see. And sometimes you gotta take a step back. I think that's all I see. So CH4 plus Cl2, and then here we're just going to put Hb, because we know, um, makes HCl plus CH3. So that's how you balance reactions. You know that from general chemistry, though, right? So uh, this is what we would call the net uh, reaction. Uh -huh. Why did you break a second CL2 instead of just using the... Well, like I said, there's, ve there's very little of this. This one's probably already reacted with something else. This, uh, these things are super reactive, you know? It's like, if you've got, you know, two guys that are ready to fight, you know, while one of them's fighting somebody, the other guy's not going to just sit there. He's going to go fight somebody else, you know what I'm saying? So that's what you got to think of. So these guys, there's a bunch of them in there, and they're not, you know, reactive yet. So once this happens, this bond is easy to break. Once you make this methyl radical, it's like, man, I really don't like it. The chlorine doesn't mind it as much, but this really doesn't like it, so it goes and reacts with the methyl. So there's always going to be a termination step. Well, okay, so this is propagating, 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 and eventually there will be a termination step, but it'll only be, happen once. Okay. At the, the very, very end, okay? So yeah, and what would happen is like you'd have maybe two methyl radicals come together, that'll stop the reaction. All termination steps stop the chain reaction, right? So you can have, if you, this guy finds another methyl radical, you can come together and make, um, you know, ethane, like that, right? So you'd have, in other words, Termination steps. What kind of termination steps do we have? We could have this reacting with another one. Hard to find each other. Right? Uh, you could have, like Dave was saying, you know, this methyl radical. Right? 
perhaps with the chlorine radical like that. So those are termination steps there, right? Or you could have the two chlorines, yeah. Like that, okay? And so those are all termination steps. Once that happens, it stops the chain reaction. But of course, you're shining light on the thing. So, you know, it's gonna keep going until all your chlorine is, or all your um, stuff is chlorine. Okay? Are there any more questions on this?